All right, sandbox review but, is on. We are now recording. Go ahead. But I have I have got a drop, but I can reply to others in Slack if that were if yeah. you need me to if that helps. Uh, I believe you've already put in your plus ones for um, if I'm correct in here, it's Crestless, Crater, and Oraz. Yes. And, and Wasm uh, Cloud. Yeah, Wasm Cloud. Thank you. That's what I was missing. Should we do those? Um, you know, while while we're still thinking of those. So, any other thoughts about Crustlet and Crater? Seems like they're worth discussing together. Um, plus one on both. We need to get it going. Yeah, good. Uh, right. Should we do votes for? And are we missing somebody? I have seven, so I'm not sure who I'm missing. <laughs> Shang. There we go. Ah, there we go. Great. Passes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and uh, votes for Crator. Missing one. Is this an IBM project? Um, I can see some contributors from Microsoft. And the person who submitted the project uh, is also Microsoft. Um, it actually might be useful information to, to add um, to the list of questions to ask, because I always like I always try to decipher it either from email address or GitHub or like, maybe we can um, make it more explicit going forward. Uh, Alina, the Tyson lorry seems to be in IBM. Okay, maybe it's a uh, again. That's yeah. the boomerang one. Yeah. I think we're talking about Crater at the moment. Yes, it's one one row uh, below. Taylor Thomas. Okay, great. Um, I think we will only have quorum for the ones that Justin has voted on because that takes us to eight. So let's cover those and then we can we can always talk about the other ones and do a vote in a poll in Slack or something. So, shall we talk about Auras next, which is line six, I think. Chris, do you know anything about the sort of OCI 
background here. There seems like there might be some, I don't know. Is there any? You no, know, it, it's, it's like, I think a typical, you know, standards body versus open source projects. The OCI folks are just very resistant to major changes, at least the core maintainers. So making anything big, you know, they tend to avoid. Generally, they don't want things like reference implementations outside of run C itself living, living there. So ORAS uh, is basically an implementation of some of the ideas in the distribution spec and artifacts work, um, you know, essentially. So it's a way of basically formal way of hosting artifacts in, in, in a registry. I think ORAS actually uses uh, Docker distribution, I think under the hood, if I recall. And I see the why you want to contribute the project being for yeah. neutral governance reasons. Um, yeah, and the, the fact that it has is currently existing under open containers, is there any, I don't know, legal anything or you know, or anything? No, it, it would be like container D implements, you know, OCI specs, right? There's no issue. Absolutely. Right. So, so they would move that artifacts directory. No. Uh potentially. I they'd have a discussion, but or as itself. Um oh, it's got its own project. It's yeah, ex exactly. Yeah. Okay. They have its own GitHub repo and so on. So they have a CLI, they have a Go library mm -hmm. and a spec. And the spec is currently under OCI, is it? Yeah, I think that's OCI artifacts and distribution spec. I think those will remain in OCI. Right. But that's okay. I mean, it's clearly cloud native, you know, area. Yep. People want to stuff other things in container registries is the end of the story here. And um, this is one implementation. Yeah, plus one. All right, so let's do votes for ORAS. Apologies for my messed up capitalization there. <laughs> I think that's everyone. And should we skip ahead to Wasm Cloud? It's quite a good uh, statement here that as a technology, Wasm Cloud is compatible with and enhances the lives of the cloud native developers. It's very ambitious. Uh, any comments, any? Ricardo saying they're going to present at the tag runtime. Any concerns about this one? Anyone wants to air? I guess one question I have is, are they talking about the whole Wasm Cloud organization, which has a bunch of different sub projects? Yeah, I, I assume so. A lot of it are, looks like utilities um, examples, some CLI, Wasm Cloud Shell. Hmm. 
Mm. We could ask, but I'm assuming it's it's everything. So Wasm Cloud is the name of the company. It looks like it's some kind of LLC. They're going to donate this whole organization to CNC. <sighs> oh, I, yeah, I mean, they're going to have to either donate the mark or choose a new name. Um, so subject to um, okay. yeah. Yeah. So I'll put something like subject to name naming. I'll go, I'll go shoot him a note. Oh, that's interesting. If they want to start looking at the incubation process right after, I mean, if they <laughs> seems aggressive. <laughs> yeah, I think they're probably going to be a little bit early for incubation straight away, just from you know what I'm seeing here. Agreed. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's nice to have ambition, I guess. <laughs> Can can we check how much, how many people contribute to this or like who? who? It looks like Capital One and a company called Cosmonic, which I think is a spin out from Capital One. But Yeah, I think it's a lot of code that came out of Capital One with WASI and all their kind of WASM experimentation and then folks left and spun out a company. And this Liam Randall seems to be like a, a serial entrepreneur. Yep. I think he's at some cloud, he's at cloud custodian or whatever stack that now. Stack. And I think, yeah. Yeah. When the, I think he was involved with cloud custodian when it came out of the capital world. Yeah. And before he was at some Kubernetes, I think, startup that he sold to Capital One. So he's, he's been around for a while. Okay. Okay, last one from me, subject to naming. So I think now that we've been through Justin's votes, we can't actually vote on others, but we could still discuss uh, any concerns that people have, and then maybe we can hold a vote somehow through Slack separately. I feel like we all have to use the same voting mechanism. Does that, does anybody think I'm crazy to think that? We only have seven minutes left. Yeah. I wonder yeah. if it's better to have separate meeting. Yeah. I'm going to say there's this one that struck, struck out to me as or stuck out to me as being a strange example of a project. And that was Podtato Head, which I think is lovely. I think it's a really cool <laughs> thing. But I mean, it, it's never going to be like product. It's a test yeah. thing. Like right? it, it, so it can, I don't see how it can ever get to incubation or graduation. It's on the CNC of GitHub org. <laughs> yeah, it's it was basically part of uh, was it app delivery? Uh, I think the tag put together an example application showing different CNCF projects showing how app delivery would work in a modern thing. So the question is like you know they they've kind of been playing with this you know and I think they want to spin it as an official sandbox thing versus kind of it floating on its own. I mean, we allow, you know, working groups and tags to do like white papers and kind of example projects, right? So it's kind of one of these artifacts mm. that they produce. I mean, I completely think it's a great thing that it exists. <laughs> I don't see how it's going to get through the yeah. 
you know, if we put it in sandbox, where is it going to go? It can't, it yeah. can't meet I mean, the criteria, right? <laughs> so, I mean, we could just say we leave it in the CNCF Oregon tree as an example work, you know, example project from the app yeah. delivery uh, group. And that's, that's fine. Chris, but then, you know, we have Kubernetes SIGs, like, so yeah. can we have something uh, like CNCF tag, uh, uh, GitHub org, and then we, move it there? We could, we could. I'd, I'd be open to that exploration. There's not many projects that would fall under that particular. Right, but then if we yeah. create the GitHub org, yeah. other people will get ideas and say, okay, okay can yeah. we experiment there? Uh, yep. Request an org, uh, request a repo there. It is actually interesting. Should we have kind of guidelines on how, like if you go to this repo, I mean, it's very clear that it's a demo project, it, you know, that it's, it's pretty cool really. <laughs> um, but like, who owns it? I don't know, there's, So in, in the Kubernetes thing, we end up saying, okay, this repo is owned by the SIG. So in this case, it would be the tag. And then the members of the tag would get added as, uh, you know, maintainers there. Yeah, actually it does say in the about thing, it says CNCF app delivery SIG demo. Yeah. So, yeah, I think maybe we should encourage some kind of way of people understand when they come up across a project where it came came from, like who who sort of owns it, but. Yeah. Um, any of the other projects that people want to talk about or highlight any concerns about? I'm excited about a uh, metal LB. Looks cool. Same here. In fact, I think, didn't we last time uh, get as far as another load balancing project, but we didn't get as far as, as metal LB? Porter LB, right? They have the rename. Yeah. Ah, yeah, right. We have reapplied with the new name. Um, look at line number 20. Okay. It looks like we need another session, maybe. We have two minutes left. So we will definitely be like, there will be a backlog that moves towards our next meeting. Um, and as I get things together, I will announce when the next project meeting is. We can probably do one the end of August. But I'm a little concerned about like a bunch of people on vacation in August. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. 22 on the, that we need to talk about. 22 on the sheet that we haven't oh, already covered. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got rid of, got rid of, oh, yeah. <laughs> we've just voted on about four of them. Right. And maybe, maybe I think unless anyone particularly feels strongly that we should hold a vote on um, Pod Pato Head, I think maybe we should tell that one. Maybe they don't fit. They don't fit. Yeah, maybe, 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 Dim's, maybe we'll chat about like what solution we've come up with for these example projects. Because I mean, for the white, uh, you know, for the, you know, papers that people are producing, it just goes into the actual uh, tag repo. So it's very clear who is the owner, but for the code projects, obviously they're not living, um, you know, in, the, in those repos in particular. I mean, that could be the solution, but that kind of sucks from a maintainer perspective if they have to maintain yeah. this. Yeah, and I like project. being able to have like the, specifically noted as you are part of like the tag, you are like a demo mm -hmm. project in there, but you don't have to be in the repo directly. Yeah. Um, so that that is a, a thing that we can take under advisement. Yeah. 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 A lot of discussions. All right. I think we're up to time. We got through quite a lot today. So cool. uh, awesome. Well done folks. Take care. See you cool. soon.
ठीक 